Okay, feature number four. The upper triangular matrices or the lower triangular matrices. I don't have much to say about these two matrices. Uh, once I state what the eigenvalues are, the rest is kind of easy and I don't have much to say. So for upper triangular matrices and lower triangular matrices, so the empty spots are zeros. That's one of the conventions in linear algebra to sort of to bring forward the special features of the matrix when there are a lot of zeros. You just skip them all together. So you can mentally fill in the gaps with zeros. So the eigenvalues are actually the numbers on the diagonal. In this case as well. So it's very easy to see why. Because if you were to pursue the eigenvalue procedure, which is subtracting lambdas from the diagonal and then computing the determinants to get the characteristic equation. That characteristic equation, because the determinant of, of an upper triangular matrix is just the product of its diagonal entries, then the characteristic polynomial is this. And equating it to zero produces roots one, four, and six, exactly the values that we had on the diagonal. So to find an eigenvector corresponding to four, right, one is easy. Because that's one of the features, that's the first feature. A single number on the diagonal, a single number in its column, but it happens to be on the diagonal. So the corresponding eigenvalues 1, 0, 0. 6 is the same feature, but you don't know the eigenvector anyway. So we'll focus on 4. Subtracting 4 from the diagonal, so I'm really doing the tail end of the eigenvalue procedure. We end up with minus 3, 2, 3, 5, and 2, because I'm subtracting 4 from the diagonal. And it's apparent that the null space of this matrix is 2, 3, 0. That's one of the vectors in the null space. So the, our eigenvalues are 1, 4, and 6. And the one corresponding to the eigenvalue 4 is the eigenvector 2, 3, 0. So there you go. I artificially stretched this video to a few minutes, there was no reason for doing this really, but now you know. For upper and lower triangular matrices, the eigenvalues appear on the diagonal. Alright, let's move on to the next one, much more interesting than this one.